This channel has grown to over 1,000 subscribers, and I wanted to do something unique for this video. Originally, I was going to show you how to cut a spiral along an entire glass bottle. Although it's not very useful, it is pretty cool, because it kind of acts like a spring. It can stretch, bend, and twist. It is very fragile and will break easily, but it's also interesting. When I made this one, it took me a few hours to complete. Because of this, I decided that it would be too long and repetitive for a video. Really though, it's just the same technique that I use in my other videos. For this video, I decided to show a little bit of it while I talk about my channel, what I want to do with it, and where I want it to go. Like many people, I've watched tons of YouTube videos. I've seen many things and projects that I thought were cool that I wanted to build. Eventually, I got inspired for a project of my own idea. This project requires me cutting a bottle, which is something that I didn't know how to do at the time. I watched many videos to learn how to do it, and I tried a few of the techniques. Nothing I tried was giving me the results that I wanted. Then I happened to come across a video by Dan Rojas. I will have a link for that video in the description below. The first time I tried that technique, it worked. I finally found a way to reliably cut bottles. I experimented with it and tried some modifications, just to see what worked and what didn't work. Before this time, I had been wanting to start a YouTube channel with me making things, and I decided that this would be a good way to start it by showing the results of my tests and experiments. I know there can be improvements, but part of the fun of these projects is learning new and better ways to do them. With my channel and my videos, I want to make things, hopefully cool things. Some of the videos will be focused on learning one aspect of a larger project. When I do this, my goal is to make it in a way that it can be a project all of its own. For me, it's easier to break down a big project into multiple smaller projects. It's easier for me to see learning things as pieces of a puzzle. And once I learn the individual pieces, I just have to put those pieces together. Then when I'm making a video that needs some of those pieces, I won't need to go into as much detail. I will be able to cover the basics and then refer back to the more detailed videos. This will allow me to focus more on the project the current video is about. Some of my videos will be about a main project and others will be about pieces leading up to that project. Then there will also be videos that are all on their own, either because I thought the project was cool or just fun. The video I made about customizing a screwdriver is one that I did because I thought it was cool. A few years ago, I was needing screwdrivers like that, but I couldn't find any anywhere, so I decided to build a couple on my own. They ended up being my favorite screwdrivers. More recently, I wanted to make some stubby versions and decided to make a video showing how to do it. I don't use these stubby ones much, but my original ones I still use all the time. I just love the idea of having screwdrivers with those smaller handles that allow me to use standard replaceable screwdriver tips. For the future of my channel, I do have several ideas for projects, and soon I'll be making the one that inspired me to get started. I still have a lot to learn for what I want to do on other projects, and I completely expect the vision for my channel to change and expand. Although right now I don't have as much time as I would like to have to focus on making videos, they will keep coming even if it's slowly. I would like to thank all of my subscribers and viewers for supporting me, and if any of you have ideas for things you would like to see from this channel, feel free to let me know in the comments of any of my videos. Obviously I won't be able to do everything, but I would like to hear any comments, feedback, and suggestions.